What's up guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. Thanks for coming by and checking out this home theater video on butt kickers, right? Now I'll tell you right off the bat, you don't have a true home theater, honestly guys, if you don't have the fourth dimension. And that's butt kicker, right? Because what they do what it does, man, it's, it's a mind blowing mind blowing experience. Now I know you guys have bass, I know you got great subwoofers, but having your actual seats shake, nothing better. If you guys want to find out more about butt kickers, stay tuned. Let's talk about it. So butt kickers, tactical transducers, shakers, right? All that. It's important to have it, guys. Let me tell you. I know you got a good system. Your bass is thumping. It sounds great. But you ever get that, that feeling of sub bass, like truly deep rumble that you feel? I know you hear, you might feel in the chest a little bit with the, the airwaves moving, but actual seats, the one you're sitting in, shake. That is badass. And instead of spending 1500 bucks, $2,000 on a ridiculous 150 pound subwoofers, spend about 500 bucks, get a nice amplifier, get a good shaker, Apply it to underneath your seat, and you're going down to 5 hertz. 5 hertz. That's something that subwoofers aren't going to do. 5 hertz is where you feel it. You don't want to hear it. You want to feel it. So I'm going to show you what I have for butt kickers in my theater. I actually have three different areas with the butt kickers installed. I have one right under my seat as we speak. It's the PC Gamer, which is awesome. I got to use it more. I got the amplifier right here for the butt kicker underneath the seat. That's one. And I'll show you the other area where my Mitsubishi is at. I have a single butt kicker underneath the couch. And what's really, what's really great about butt kickers, guys, is there's different mounting kits for it. Now, you could uh, lift your, your chair, recliner up, and you could bolt the butt kicker right to the frame of your seat or couch. If you have the space for it, because just a you know it's a little pod like this big, and if you can't do that, then there's these platforms. You can attach the butt kicker to the platform, and then slide the platform underneath the foot or one of the legs of your chair or recliner or seat. And it'll just sit on there, and then you still feel the shake. And that's what I do. And I'll show you that in a moment too. Um, but the other one for my Mitsubishi, that single my, my single couch, it's a single butt butt kicker with the platform. You just lay your couch bar your chair bar right on top, it's the same thing. And it shakes the whole couch. It's easy installation. Also, it's really easy to hook up. The amplifier uh, hooks up to the subwoofer pre-out of your receiver or preamp. It's just a subwoofer frequency, sub-frequency, LFE, right? Goes into the back of the amplifier, and from there, it's just speaker wire. Speaker wire from the amp to the butt kicker, and you can get as, you know, you don't have to get the thickest gauge speaker wire, but you can get decent speaker wire, you know. Plug it in, run all that power and signal to your butt kicker because they can, they can handle a lot, of, a lot of watts. I mean, you're talking about 500 watts, no problem. And the amplifier I have for my home theater, it goes up to 1,000 watts, so it can push out some serious power. Now, with the amplifier I have in the home theater, that's the full-blown, that's the full-deal amplifier. That, that can actually power up to four butt kickers uh, if you get what's called a, it's a, some kind of switch. It's a switch that allows you to choose between one, two, three, or four butt kickers and it kind of runs the wire in parallel and series and all that kind of stuff. I just have three, so I was able to wire it a certain way where two wires out of the amp, splits it through the three subs, and it works like a charm. It's fantastic. So anyway, guys, I'll show a little bit of video of, of it in action, um, what, it actually, what it actually shakes, but it's really cool, guys. It's really cool. Basically, it's like a, it's like a, a magnet inside of an enclosure and that magnet is going back and forth really fast to, to, to create that, that vibration, that rumble. It's pretty sweet stuff. So, all right, guys, let's check it out. I'll take you a little tour and uh, kind of show you how I have it wired up. But it's really easy, guys. So definitely look, look it up. Butt kicker, man. It's awesome. It's truly the final piece to really bring your theater apart from everyone else's. Right? When they go down and sit down in your theater and they're like, what is that shake coming from? What? That's not the subwoofers. That's the butt kickers. 
It's fantastic, guys. Definitely check it out. I think it is absolutely a must-have in your home theater. Must-have. Seriously. Set your theater apart from everybody else's. Get the butt kickers in your theater. It's amazing stuff. All right, guys. Let's do a tour. Show you what I have. And uh, you guys look it up. And it's fantastic. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Raf. I do home theater inspiration videos, reactions, and of course, game content on my streams. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you know when my next video comes out. And welcome to the Raf Cave Club. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is the first amplifier I have for the butt kicker. It's the power amp BKA 130 C. So you have the power button there, you have the low cutoff filter which you definitely want to have on the uh, high cutoff frequency. So I go as high as, you know, about 40, yeah, about 45, 45. And then the high cutoff, I push that in because you don't want any, any frequency going higher than that. You want the butt kickers just get the low stuff. This tells you when the signal is on and if you're clipping. So if it's clipping, that means you're putting too much power, too much volume. So you just lower the volume a bit. And it does come with a mic, uh, remote control, so if you want to have that wired to your area, you can control it up and down. Uh, as far as the back goes, basically you just have your speaker wire out, you know, positive, negative, and then you have a subwoofer in and subwoofer out. So you can pass the LFE from your receiver through this amp back into your subwoofer so you're not missing anything. And of course your power. And then you run the wire down Boom, there's your butt kicker gamer two. So all you do is you clamp it to your PC chair, gaming chair, and you'll feel the rumble on your seat, I, I promise you. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, your seat shakes, it's awesome, good stuff. All right guys, let's move on to the, uh, the TV Mitsubishi area. This is my second butt kicker amp. Uh, this is going to be the Butt Kicker Power Amplifier BKA 300-4. You got your power and your volume up and down. It's in standby mode right now. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing. If I can try to reach it back here. You got your uh, speaker wire, positive, negative, in and out. That goes to the, to the Butt Kicker. And then down you have the LFE in, and I'm not using the out. And then your power cable, right? So when I have it run all the way back, I don't think you guys can see it. You probably can't see it. Excuse the mess, guys. But that speaker wire goes right underneath the, uh, the couch into the butt kicker on a platform. You guys can't see it, but it's under there. All right, guys, that is the second butt kicker area. Let's go to the main main event. All right, guys, the main event is the main butt kicker amp, and that's going to be the BKA 1000-4A. Low cutoff off, high cutoff on. And about uh, 45 again. My volume is about a little less than half. And let me uh, get back there and show you kind of how I hook it up back there. One sec. All right, guys. So basically with my Marantz uh, 7705, it's a processor. So all my LFE outputs and pre-outs are going from the RCAs back there. So when you find the subwoofer LFE out, I basically split it and I'm running that LFE right into the input and I have my high quality monster cable speaker wire with the uh, the spades going out to the butt kickers and of course a massive heavy duty monster power uh, cord there for the power there so that's how I hook up butt kicker amp and now I run the speaker wire 
underneath the carpet. And here's our first butt kicker. So basically there's your speaker wire there, positive and negative going right into the side. And then this is the platform. So basically you put the butt kicker, you attach it to the, uh, the platform here. And then you put the feet of the theater chairs resting right on top of the platform. And I have a little bit of a, a spacer here, a cushion. The best thing to do when you, when you get these butt kickers is to uh, elevate your theater chair or, or, or you know, couch or recliner uh, off the floor. So your chair is suspended off the floor. That way you get more vibration. You're not tied to the floor. That could uh, take away the, the shake. So I, um, I elevate all the feet of my theater chair on a little bit of a spacer and a, a little bit of rubber, a rubber bumper here to elevate my entire theater seats off of the floor so I get more shake. Really makes a difference, guys, so definitely check it out. Um, all right, guys, so that's one, right? One butt kicker there. Two butt kicker here with, you know, speaker wire from the same amplifier. Got it bolted to the... Uh, the platform there and then suspended on that uh, rubber platform for the theater seat and then my third third and final butt kicker right there speaker wire same thing clamp the butt kicker to the the surface there and then you rest your theater sheet theater theater seat or chair or recliner uh, foot right onto the platform and you get some amazing shake and it makes a huge difference. Guys, you gotta get this. Get the butt kicker for your theater. I promise you, you'll love it. You'll be smiling every time you sit down in your theater. So what I'll do is I'll play a little video of this in action. So I'm gonna hold it right here and I'll play a thumbnail right here of what it's like. Right back. Okay, it's dead. All right guys, let's see what happens when the dinosaurs Start running Nobody here. Move a muscle. Whoa. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's just a small demo. Um, so when those dinosaurs are running around, you're going to feel it in your bones. You're going to feel it in the seat. It's going to shake the seat with every thump. That's why the butt kicker is so damn cool. Ah, awesome. Pretty awesome, huh? It's awesome, man. When you feel in that shake in your theater seats, it's sweet. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hope this video helped you out, gave you uh, something else to research and look into and add to your theater. So I promise you, you're going to love it. If you, don't get, you know, if you get one, great. If you get two, better. If you get three, you're awesome. If you're four, you're, you're gangbusters, man. You're rocking. But uh, definitely check them out, guys. That's a, a huge win. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Must own. Butt kicker for your theater. Check it out. This is Raf signing off. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, drop a like. Drop a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the club. And I'll see you next time. Home theater rules. Raf out.